Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can uh, do the essay in PTA exam easily. Uh, to do so, I'm using uh, APUNI because uh, actually it has some examples and also it can score the essay. So it would be easier for me to do that and also for you to understand that. Uh, before starting that, I'm gonna just tell you that uh, to do so, I'm gonna use the template uh, from APUNI. All you need to do is just head to the website APUNI and then go to templates download and then I get the template, uh, ESA template like this, as you see. And then uh, it's the template that I'm gonna use that. Uh, beforehand, I practiced this template and I memorized that. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just writing down the template and then fill it up with the related and appropriate words. Uh, what you can also do, and what I suggest you to do, is also to memorize the template and practice with the template, and then. Uh, once you get comfortable with that, start doing practices as I'm gonna show you and then uh, get a good, uh, you know, uh, essay uh, a score as well. Although, like, it's uh, not a very big deal, uh, the, like, writing section, uh, when you are, like, comparing uh, to other uh, parts which uh, may help more to your score in writing. Anyway, like it's a uh, good to get a, a good score in write essay, and uh, you don't have to worry about that. And uh, as I said, I'm using APN because it's just easy to use that. Uh, and and it is to say that APN doesn't sponsor this video or anything like that. So I'm just just gonna head to. Um, write essay and uh, I'm choosing the first one which I haven't practiced before to see how we are going with that and I'm gonna tell you that uh, this template uh, which is provided by APUNI you know, uh, it's gonna work uh, with any kind of question, argument or discussion as I'm gonna show you because it's uh, a well structured template and you only get to you know fill it up uh, with the appropriate words uh, from the prompt. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to just fully write down the template and then I'm going to explain to you how you can fill it up with appropriate words so easy. So uh, just stay with me, I'm just going to write it down and then I'll get back to you. So, so far I've written down the template as it is, I tried to be, you know, exactly as it is because I previously memorized that, so I've written down might be a little bit different but uh, yeah, it's uh, the same template from APUNI Now I'm gonna show you how you can uh, actually easily uh, fill, uh, fill this uh, template actually and how I uh, get good score with that. So, uh, so um, look at the t uh, prompt here. She's asking about uh, with the help of technology, students nowadays can learn more information and learn it more quickly. Do you agree or disagree with the statement? So it doesn't really matter if you agree or disagree. We are just going to uh, fill it uh, up, fill the template up with related posts from uh, the prompt. And uh, just make sure that in each paragraph you are using uh, the most of the keywords uh, like technology, students, and information, and learn like for this four in each paragraph and then uh, you will get uh, a good score in uh, content as well. 
so what I'm gonna do, I'm, and it doesn't matter if you uh, exactly like copy the same exact prompt, you know. So uh, what I'm gonna do, uh, like here, uh, where the oh, what the hell of the colors here? Let's see what we do up nowadays because we obviously got that. The students can learn uh, like um, more quickly. Just some part of that or exactly the same. It doesn't matter how this park a heated debate. The one public attention. I'm also like checking SIM code uh, to be you know about the spelling to everything. Uh, be all right. So yeah. Again, I uh, try to use you know keyboards from from to fill the blanks up. So as I'm gonna do. Uh, you don't have to actually use a uh, complicated stuff just uh, use a uh, simple uh, board and similar simple vocabularies that you are confident with I just make simple sentences, you know, again using the prompt, just uh, by uh, a bit replacing the word. And then we put social here. It's evident that, uh, again, trying to use some keywords from the prompt. Mm -hmm. It's evident that it's still there. Scientists once stated that uh, just again simple sentences with some words taken from prompt. I would say like technology. That's it. Like easy. Uh, it is clearly shown that students can learn. You can also add some related words to technology, like you know, mobile phones, cell phones, or you know, like that. Uh, by the way, like uh, five minutes is still left. I spent almost like ten minutes to write down the template first, so I'm gonna just do it probably more quick. Yeah, yeah so shall.
and ultimate aim of technology is to do something okay I like So I believe that again with the technology can more information. In order to move things forward, all parties involved must make a concerted effort to communicate and start changing. With all our efforts, we can certainly make this world a much better place to live. And so, uh, we've got uh, still three minutes left. I probably I'm gonna have a look uh, to not have any spoiler. Error. And the board count shows like uh, 250, which is okay. So I just use the same template and I just fill it up with the, you know, some taken words from the prompt and then from the question and then um, some other related words. I'm just gonna go quickly through that to check if there is any, uh, you know, a spelling error. So I went through actually that and I didn't find any spelling error. Hopefully there is no spelling error. Uh, and I see like uh, there are like less than a minute left. But I'm gonna go to you know submit that because I'm done with that. Mm. And usually if you are doing that, it takes like uh, less than 20 minutes because I've I've been explaining to you as well like it took almost 20 minutes uh, otherwise like it should be enough to do that with only you know uh, uh, 15 or 16 minutes or so anyway so we've written down uh, template we fill it up and uh, we submitted that now we are going to score that and because I'm trying to you know in terms of spelling follow the British uh, uh, English, so I'm gonna use AI as for a uh, British one. Uh, hopefully, it gets uh, a good score. Uh, it depends, like a spelling error, which I'm afraid of. <laughs> and yeah, there, is, there are some spelling errors anyway, like oh my god, like whether additionally and uh, of internet. Uh, uh, there is one day is needed here. Okay, so yep, uh, uh, I misspelled weather here, and uh, additionally here, which is one I is left, and for weather, uh, as you see here, there is no A, a uh, in the right spelling, and also of the internet, the internet is needed. So because of this three error. Uh, I've got 12.6 out of 15. Otherwise, like if you are a bit conscious about uh, spelling, because I 
uh, got zero out of two because of these two spelling errors. So you get to, you know, get uh, good, be good at the spelling. And also, I also lose a uh, point four uh, from here. Actually, I got one point six out of two because of that. Uh, of I, I should have written of the internet instead of of internet, uh, which I was expecting that, but I didn't do that anyway. Otherwise, like uh, I'm showing you that if uh, anything is right uh, with your spelling uh, and also like uh, be more conscious about these little things uh, how everything uh, else would be great you can see that the content like you get a uh, three out of three before we get two out of two uh, grammar and spelling I couldn't get uh, like the full score because uh, the errors that I explained to you otherwise like it would be great and in terms of vocabulary range again you don't have to be worried about like uh, using complex vocabularies you can use just simple words and you saw you just saw that like I was filling uh, the sentences with like um, like technology is great students can use technology and this sort of stuff so you don't have to worry about that and you can get higher score uh, in terms of vocabulary range as well in terms of general linguistic range again like if you just follow the instruction you get the high uh, complete score and about the instruction and coherence also you get the complete score so if you uh, I have actually uh, practiced with this template uh, uh, many times and uh, like every time that uh, I haven't had any spelling error and obviously like any grammatical error like this one at all like it um, it's given me like uh, 15 out of 15 so uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, it would be easy if you just you know memorize the template and just then uh, write it down first which takes 10 minutes and then fill it up you know with some words taken from prompt and then obviously check the spelling and grammatical uh, little things uh, to be sure about that and to get uh, the full mark. Hope this video helps you and hope uh, you practice with the template and get confident with that and get good score like 15 out of 15 uh, in the real exam. As I said, like it is not the most important part of writing because uh, you will see that uh, in the real exam, like there are other things that help. Uh, like even more than writing essay to the writing module score uh, such as you know uh, reading and writing filling the blank which is so 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 important uh, and also like uh, filling the blank in listening is so important and also write from dictation so write from diction, dictation filling the blank from the listening and also reading and writing filling the blank from reading they give like a high contribution uh, to their writing score. Anyway, uh, if you are aiming to get a great score in you know all the modules, like uh, more than 79 in uh, writing and speaking and reading and listening, to get to you know get good uh, almost in all of them, and you better not lose any point uh, in writing essay, as it is easy to you know. Do that you just need to memorize that and fill it up with the right words hope this video helps you let me know in comments if you have, if you've got any question and yep thank you for watching this video